Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we've got this girl in the shoot and she's got some pretty long toes. Perfect opportunity to talk about the importance of foot angle and what trimming can do to correct this condition and save on lots of foot problems in the future. So let's get these feet started and get her trimmed up. Now you may notice here, this girl is partially through the natural hoof shedding process. Unfortunately, her toes are still really long and that's creating a really poor foot angle as you can see in this illustration here. What we need to do is correct that, get her tipped back up on her toes. And the way we're gonna do that is removing this toe section. We're gonna leave the heels nice and deep, remove that lower section in the toes and shorten those toes up and that's gonna help correct that angle. Now what that does on the inside of the foot is what is actually critical. It aligns these two bones right here. When we get those bones aligned correctly, that's gonna allow that weight to be distributed correctly on that bottom bone, the pedal bone, which then distributes that weight evenly to that outside wall and ultimately to the ground. When that angle is shallow, we're putting way too much pressure toward the back part of that pedal bone, which ultimately is gonna put pressure on the corium and can cause ulcers, not to mention it can stress the other areas of the foot, uh, especially the uh, flexor tendon in there, which is another support mechanism. All of these things combined can end up causing foot problems. So that's why we gotta get this foot trimmed back up, get it the correct angle to take those pressures off. And now you can see what this foot looks like now that it's been corrected. If we go back and take a comparison, that top picture being before we trim the foot versus the bottom, you can see how elongated that claw looked at on the top and at the bottom, how much deeper that heel looks. It almost looks like we've added heel depth to that foot when we obviously couldn't have done that. Just by trimming that and correcting that gives it a much better angle and that's gonna make a much more comfortable cow with less problems in the long run. Now let's move on to the back feet and do the same thing with those to correct those. You'll notice as I trim these feet, I'm not gonna get them perfectly white. That is not the goal of a hoof trim. The goal of the hoof trim is to get this foot back into the correct angles and to actually leave as much hoof on as we can to do that. These spots that you see in the sole of the foot, these imperfections, there's nothing wrong with that. And if I were to actually take those out, take that sole all the way down so it was perfectly white, I would actually be compromising the integrity of that foot. I could make that sole thin, which would actually cause her to become tender. I don't wanna do that. My best bet is to trim as little off as I can to get that angle as the best that I can get it and then move on to the next foot.
If you watch that cow just readjust herself and wonder yourself, how can she stay standing with one foot off the ground and taking weight off that other back foot? The reason she can do that is because she's supported in there by a strap that goes up underneath her chest. So there's not a lot of weight on her legs right now. Pretty easy to trim them and pretty easy to keep her from hurting herself if, if she were to adjust like she did just there. And here you can get a look at those back feet all trimmed up. Now let's move on to that left front and get her finished up. And there you have it, all trimmed up and rebalanced. Now the fun part for me is letting these girls go that have had long toes and watching them test out their new kicks. Well, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.